Today we're going to be making some soft and chewy chocolate chip cookies. So here are the ingredients that we need. One cup of all-purpose flour, a half a cup of butter, and I'm using unsalted butter in this recipe, one cup of chocolate chips, a half a cup of brown sugar, one egg, a quarter cup of granulated sugar, a half a teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, and one teaspoon of vanilla. A recipe note, if you are using salted butter, simply omit the salt. So those are the ingredients, so let's get started. For our first step, we're going to get all of our butter into a large bowl. Okay, that's good. To that, we're going to add in our granulated sugar and our brown sugar. And I'll just grab a fork and just break this up. So just break this up so that your mixer can get all of this mixed together much more easily. I'll grab my mixer and we'll just start creaming this together. And my butter is very warm, it's at room temperature. Once you have that mixed together, you can get your egg in there. That will add a lot of moisture to this and will really, really help with the creaming process. So this just helps break everything down in our mixture here. Okay, so now we are ready to add in a few more ingredients. I've got my vanilla and my salt. I'll just mix that in. Okay, that's good. And then we have our flour and baking soda. So I'm going to sift my ingredients in. So there's my flour and our little bit of baking soda. And we'll just get all of that in there. And then I'll just take my fingers and just push the rest through. Perfect. And then we'll mix this in. And I don't want to over mix this. I just want to get this just until it's combined. And I am on speed number one. I don't want to have a dust cloud because of that flour. And you can take your mixer and just slightly go up on the sides of the bowl to incorporate any of the flour that's still up on the top. So a little bit on the bottom and you can bring it right up like that. Okay, that's perfect. And our last ingredient are beautiful chocolate chips and I'm using semi-sweet chocolate chips in this recipe. We'll get all of those in. And we will just mix those very quickly, just to get them combined. Okay, and that's perfect. And now we are ready to get these onto our tray. So I've cleaned up. I have a tray here, lined with a little silicone liner. You can either use parchment paper, or you can go directly onto your baking sheet. But this is how I'm going to do it today. I've got a cookie scoop here. And we'll just get some of these onto our baking tray. So this is a medium sized scoop I'm using. You can also use two big spoons if you wish. I guess I'll go three here. So I'll whip through these and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so there's my first sheet. I'm gonna pop these into my 350 degree oven for about 10 minutes. So I'll do that and I'll come back when I've done all of them. I'm gonna get quite a few here. So I'm gonna bake them all off and then I'll show you everything when I come back. All right, I am back and I have baked all of my cookies. This batch made a total of 23 cookies. These ones here I did for 12 minutes. You can see that they're quite a bit more brown. And these ones here I did for 10 minutes. Now, these here are still a little bit warm here. These ones here are cool. These are cool as well. So I'll just take one of these and I'll just show you that even though these were at 12, you can see that they're really, really nice and moist still. Look at this. You can actually see, oh, looks so good. Mmm, really, really good. I'll have to try one. Oh, that's really, really good. So if you want them really chewy, do them at 10 minutes. They're gonna turn out like this. If you want them chewy, a little bit of a crunch on the edge, then do them for 12 minutes like that. A really simple recipe. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.